Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. In this video, we'll add some UI text or 2D text inside a canvas. So by the end of this video, I'll show you how to add these UI text or 2D text inside the canvas. And I'll also show you how to change the font of your UI text. So for adding the 2D text inside a canvas, I'll right click on the canvas. After this, I'll go in UI and next I'll select the text option. So as you can see, the 2D text is added on top of my canvas. Okay, so I'll double click on this text option. Okay, and if you look very carefully, then the text basically reads new text. And since the color of this text is black, so that's why this text is not readable. Okay, so I'll select this text component. After this, inside the inspector panel, I'll scroll down and I'll change the color of this text from black to white. After changing the text, next I'll change the text of this text. So instead of new text, I'll write over here, happy birthday Dinesh. Okay, so I'll basically write my name over here as I basically used my name inside the AR greeting card scene as well. Now, if you look very carefully, the happy birthday text is visible, but the Dinesh text is cropped out. So I'll just shift this text container on the right hand side. And now we can see the entire text. So after adding the text, next I'll move this text container on the top of the canvas. Okay, I'll increase the size of this container a little bit. Next, I'll increase the font size as well. After this, I'll change the alignment of this text. Okay, I'll increase this a little bit over here. And as I was saying, I'll also change the alignment of this text with respect to this container. Okay, so I'll align the text in the center horizontally and I'll also align the text in the center vertically and I'll place the text horizontally in the center of the canvas. So after modifying this text a little bit, next let's add a different font to this text because currently as you can see the font of this text is set to Arial. So instead of Arial, we'll use some different fonts. Okay. But before downloading the font, let me show you one more thing. So below the Arial font, we have this option of font style, which is currently set to normal. So if you want, you can change the font style directly from here. Then as you can see, the font has become bold a little bit. The font is italic now. Okay, but I'll leave this to normal for the time being. And next I'll open my browser. And inside the search field, I'll type fonts.google.com fonts.google.com is basically a website from where you can download fonts of different types. You can go inside the category section and you can select a particular category of font if you want. Similarly, we also have these filters at the bottom and by checking these filters, you can select and download a font of your desired type. So I'll just clear all these filters and the font in which I'm interested in is called as Sinzel. Okay, so I'll just type Sinzel over here. Okay. And this is the font which I'll be using. So before downloading this font, let me show you one thing. Okay. So if I delete this font and if I type happy birthday, then as you can see, I've basically got this preview of how this font will look with the text, which I'm going to type. Similarly, you can also change these option and you can basically check the numbers or the alphabets, which are present in this font. Next, we have this option of bold, regular and black. Okay, so you can check these things as well. And you can also increase the size of this font from here. So to download this font, I'll click on the plus sign. And as you can see, the font is selected over here. So I'll open this and next I'll click on the download button to download this font. So the Sinzel font is basically downloaded inside my system. So I'll copy it on my desktop. So as you can see, I've copied the Sinzel font on my desktop and this font is basically inside a zip file. So I'll right click on the zip file. After this, I'll click on extract to Sinzel. And if I open this folder, then as you can see, this folder basically contains three font files. That is the Sinzel regular, Sinzel bold and Sinzel black. Okay, so I'll close this. Next, I'll open my project and inside the data files folder, I'll create a new folder. I'll give this a name of fonts. I'll open this folder and next I'll drag this Sinzel folder inside the fonts folder. After this, I'll open the Sinzel folder. Next, I'll select the text folder 
and in place of this Arial font, I'll drag this Cinzil regular font. And as you can see, the font of my text has changed. Okay, similarly, if I select the Cinzil bold and if I drag it over here, then this is how the Cinzil bold font looks. So I'll select the text and I'll change the font to Cinzil regular itself. So guys, I'm basically satisfied with the result of my 2D text. Okay, so I'll end this video over here. And in the next video, we'll add some UI buttons inside a canvas.